Hello again. So Christmas is coming and you see all those things related. Uh, Christmas tree and Christmas lights. You know, it's always a mess with batteries. This year I just uh, try to be a little bit ecologic, if I may say, and I bought a few echoes from Lidl. So this is uh, a bunch of Tronic rechargeable batteries. They advertise it like 2500 milliamps, 1.2 volts. Evidently this is uh, nickel uh, metal hydride echoes. What I want to do today, let's see about the capacity of these guys and if it's really worth it because they are pretty cheap. For me it's a good idea you know, to have that instead of AA batteries which have to be replaced each two days or something. You know, Christmas tree and Christmas light. Okay, so we got two, four, six, eight pieces of uh, echoes, rechargeables. Let me start with measuring the internal resistance. Like usually, IR1035, a really nice machine for measuring the internal resistance and very low resistance, but it's an automatic, so I don't care. Just measure. 63 milliohms. That's looking good. 70, 50. Huge differences. Why? 50. Okay, let's write these things down. Because it's really interesting. So this is a 70. Oh no. This is a 63, I recall. 250s. Like that. 33. Even better. 49. 68. And 50. Oh, this is 50 already. Okay, let's check them. 50. This should be 52. Come on. Yeah, set 63. All right. And this is the high, the highest with 76.9.5. Okay. Well, I don't know what to say. You know, the internal resistance gives an idea about the quality of the of the parts. You know, the quality of the or the state of the uh, rechargeable batteries and uh, so far the one with 33 milliohms almost half than the others than the one with 70 right okay so next step it's kind of boring so uh, it takes a while and uh, i'll use my uh, charge soon antimatter and start doing some real-time tests charging and discharging and uh, and i'm sorry i have to destroy this beautiful face here you see this <laughs> because that's a good idea to have some magnets like that around for properly contact the rechargeables now nothing else to do but have the power supply so i'm gonna start choosing the nickel metal hydride menu charging they said seven hours with 500 milliamps okay i'll do that with one amp that is charging so let's start with a charging and discharging two cycles like that okay so nothing left but to wait okay so the first one it's done remember this one was uh, with the lowest internal resistance 33 milliohms or something anyway so we have like the final discharge 1733 milliamps far away from 2.5 amps but let's face it the discharge was with one amp so probably with a lower uh, discharge rate i can reach around 2000 milliamps okay next one 
The second uh, echo with uh, 50 milliohms internal resistance, it's done. So let's have the numbers. First discharge, 1.6. Second, 1.6. Even worse than before. I'm far away from specification. Okay, so here we are. Almost a day later with number three. And um, let's see the numbers. This one was, uh, this element was with 70 milli ohms and we have a discharge 1792, almost 1.8 amps, 1711. Okay, almost the same, like 1.7, like the others, you know. The next test, you see all these cells are already charged and uh, I'm going to have a slow discharge with 200 milliamps. So let's see if the capacity is better under a lower current this time. Okay, almost one day later. I think this is the end of the experiment. Even with uh, 200 milliamps discharge, it took 10 hours to reach 2.050 amps, 2 amps. Okay, so that's the end. I, it's not really worth it to waste my time to, to measure or to test the other echoes. Okay, so that's it, the end of the experiment. If it's worth it, if it's not worth it, I don't know, it's up to you. Anyway, this, uh, this was an offer, so uh, I may say it was like one euro almost one dollar you know uh, a rechargeable and that's not bad but the tests show that um, even at low current discharge the capacity uh, is far from the one advertised it so we had like 12.5 percent less capacity than uh, it should be well that's not bad for the price of course if uh, if I suggest to purchase this product, well, why not? <laughs> they are so cheap. But of course, this is not an excuse. Don't misunderstand me. I like cheap. I love cheap. I love gratis. <laughs> it's even better. But um, you see, I wish in my lifetime to encounter a description or um, an advertised uh, characteristics of a product will be under the results you know something like sell me one amp rechargeable but i find that it's 1500 or something you know it never happens it's like going in the supermarket and you buy something you see it on the shelves you know with one dollar and you go to the to the cashier and it's 1.10 <laughs> something like anyway this is a weekend philosophy i really hope this test is uh, useful i'll be back with some other as soon as i have time in the meantime don't forget like subscribe and of course have fun bye bye